In this video, we will see the correct technique of applying a Y to delta transformation to help find the equivalent resistance between terminals of interest. This is the circuit of interest and we are interested in finding the equivalent resistance seen looking at the terminals A and B. In this original circuit, none of the resistors are directly in series or parallel, so we cannot use these relationships to simplify the resistors. Instead, we can recognize these three resistors as a T or a Y network, and we can apply a Y to delta net transformation to help find the equivalent resistance. So first let's see how we can apply a Y to delta transformation. So this Y or T configuration of resistors we can replace with an equivalent delta. So let's suppose we label these resistors as follows. So suppose these resistors are labeled Rx R, Y, and R, Z. So the first step is to find the value of R, X, R, Y, and R, Z. The thing to remember is listed here. So each resistor in the delta network is the sum of all the three possible products of the Y resistors, taken two at a time, divided by the opposite Y resistor. So let's take the case of resistor Rx. So Rx will be given by the sum of all the three possible products of the Y resistors taken two at a time in the numerator. So in the numerator, we have 20 times 10 plus 20 times 5 plus 10 times 5. And in the denominator, we have the opposite Y resistor. So the resistor opposite to Rx is the 10 ohm. So this is there in the denominator. And this simplifies to 350 over 10 is equal to 35 ohm. Similarly, we can find Ry in the numerator. We will have the sum of all the three possible products, which will be the same as this one. So we have 350 and in the denominator, it's the opposite Y resistor. So this will be the 20 ohm resistor to give a value of 17.5 ohm. And then RZ is given by 350 divided by the opposite Y resistor which is the 5 ohm resistor and this gives the value 70 ohm. Thus the first step is complete finding the y, finding the values of the resistors and applying the Y to delta transformation. We can use the Y to delta transformation to help simplify the circuit. So this is the original circuit and when we replace this Y or T configuration of resistors with a delta configuration, this circuit becomes equal to this one. Now in this circuit, this is a node and this is a node and this circuit can be drawn as follows. So we can just stretch out this node this way. So we make the 35 ohm resistor like this and then we stretch out the end of the 17.5 ohm resistor this way and here we stretch out this end and also this end of the 20 ohm, 28 ohm resistor. So this circuit can be redrawn as shown here. This circuit now shows the advantage of using a Y to delta transformation. We can easily identify that these two resistors are in parallel. And similarly, these two resistors are in parallel. Thus, we can redraw this circuit as follows. So we leave the 35 ohm resistor as is. 
we replace these two resistors with an equivalent resistor and then we replace these two resistors with an equivalent resistor so this value this value is given by 70 parallel 28 using shorthand notation 70 parallel 28 is given by 70 times 28 over 70 plus 28 and this is equal to 20 ohm and similarly this resistor has a value which is 105 parallel 17.5 and this is given by 105 times 17.5 over 105 plus 17.5 and this simplifies to 15 ohm now this 20 ohm resistor and this 15 ohm resistor are in series this is clear because the same current would flow through these two resistors thus this circuit can be simplified as we have a 35 ohm resistor and also a 20 plus 15 which is equal to 35 ohm resistor in parallel so we have been collapsing the circuit back towards the input so these are the terminals of interest a and b and then the final equivalent resistance is obtained as a parallel combination of two 35 ohm resistors so the final equivalent resistance is 35 parallel with 35 and this is equal to 35 multiplied by 35 over 35 plus 35 which gives the value 17.5 ohm thus from the point of view of terminals a and b this e network of resistors is equivalent to a single 17.5 ohm resistor this example illustrates the advantage of correctly using a T to delta transformation to help find this value.